What's up, my G's? It's your boy, Fishon. I'm back here at Harbor Island. Dude, I did the typical fisherman thing. Well, I was so tired after dinner. I fell asleep right after dinner, around like nine or something. I was so tired. And you know, typical fisherman me woke up at like 2.30 and I was like, oh, I'll try to go back to sleep, but couldn't. So since I was still awake, you know, I was like, I'll just come out and go fish before the sun, the sunrise. And here I am. All right, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna start off with Lucky Craft. Start top and move my way to the bottom. And yeah, here, check it out. Dude, it's so calm. Everything's so calm. start it off with this y'all all right let's get it all right fishing guides i hope you bless me for waking up early and coming out early what do we got here huh let's see water is so calm my f my my fishing app is giving me three out of three fish from nine to eleven or something so let's see let's see what we can get little bit first cast oh shoot what in the world oh my gosh guys I did the dumbest thing I did the <laughs> dumbest thing I cast it and and caught my rod oh And it fell in the salt water. Oh, I'm so dumb. But luckily, I was still hooked onto it and I was able to pull it in. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so dumb. Oh my God. I am so lucky. I hope my reel's okay. Bro, thing got wet. Got soaked. All right. Come on, fuego. You know, hopefully my coastal gets repaired soon. Maybe that was a sign. It's like I heard my rod getting caught and I still casted. New lesson learned. Do not put your second rod right behind you. Put it like on the side. That was so dumb. Okay. I don't know about you, but everyone makes mistakes. And even me. Well, you know what? Especially me. So if you're, if you're scared about learning something, trying something new, and messing up, it's, it's just part of the process. The only thing is, you just hope whatever you mess up on, the cost isn't too, too, too great. Oh, I can't believe that happened. I better use that soon so I could wash out the reel. I don't think I'm on, oh, but I did get hit. Oh, actually, <laughs> there you go. Lizard fish, no skunk. Thanks. Oh, snaps. All right. Oh, snaps. This is a good one. I don't know what it is, but it's a good one. Oh, 
Hey. It kind of was fine. Oh, croaker. Is it croaker or Corbin? Oh, I heard him croak. So it's a croak. It has to be a croaker. There you go. First croaker of the day. I was using the same technique as in the last video. Didn't fight him so hard, but yeah, pretty cool. No skunk today. And the croakers are still out. Look at you. My friends aren't here. And I'm not looking to keep one. Oh, actually, my mom likes to cook these. I'm gonna throw them in. First catch for good luck. All right, have a good life. Micro is still OP, everyone. You hit that one hard. Okay, let's get back to it. Same technique. No, I don't know if this is a good technique. Do you guys just reel it in normal? Like, do, do you guys not worry about it ripping off? <coughs> oh, another bite. Didn't stick. There's another one there though. So I'm gonna try to get it. There you go. I'm on another one. Oh, maybe another croaker? I think it is another croaker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. This one is... Bigger, smaller. Oh yeah, that's a croaker. Still more. And he's stuck, he can't get out. You know, I'd like to put out there that also the rod does a lot of work in making sure your fish doesn't get out. So I, I, I'm thinking it's like the way it bends, like the action. Uh, when it bites, it gives way. It bends so that it gives way. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, thought it was a croaker. It's a bass. Yeah, I feel like the rod gives way so that if he pulls, it won't yank it out of him. It'll bend, the rod will bend for you so it won't rip it off. What the heck? He's like stuck. This guy's stuck on something. Oh, these rocks are slippery. Oh my goodness, he went crazy. He hooked my my new gloves. At least he hooked my new gloves and not me. Got him on the mic. Really far though, really deep. Had to cast it that one far just to get to him. He's pretty big. He's pretty big. Almost legal, but not. You know me. Not small, but close to legal. It's 13. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. Later, buddy. 
thanks. That was a good bite. This thing with barbs. Stuff with barbs. When they're stuck to that's not on a fish, it's hard to get it out. And I know it's gonna mess up the fabric on my new glove. There's no way. Got it out, but got these thingies that are nice. Let's see how we do. Oh, there you go. I'm on again. Dang, these bites are strong. I think it's a bass. Small. Oh, I might have lost it. Unless he's not fighting. Oh, it's a mech? Oh, Barracuda. Okay. Oh, Barracuda. I see him. I could get him. Ugh. Good thing I, I rushed to put him in a safe spot. There you go, y'all. Stinky Barracuda. Fish number three today. Okay. We'll throw him in. Thanks. Third species. Woo. Live and healthy. Funny, I thought it was a mackerel. Oh. I need to reset. Reset my brakes. Reset my reel. When it's like that, something it got messed up. Maybe bad cast. Maybe the wind. You just gotta kind of reset it. Give it a nice restart. Turn your brakes up, do a cast, and then, yeah, give it what it needs. There you go. When you're restarting, well, what I like to do is I set the brakes pretty high. Pretty high to me, though, is not half. It's like seven. Cause you know, I still want to get it out there in case I catch a fish while I'm restarting it. So right now it's at seven and I'm gonna do a safe cast at seven. See, maybe two of them. See if it could cast smooth. Let's see. Oh. All right, yeah, that was good for seven. Now that it's good, go back to four. <laughs> you know, you maximize distance. Oh, wow. Oh, did I lose it? Oh, I lost it. He's gone. Dang, what the heck was that? Well, you gotta try again. If you lost one, then it means it could still be there. I don't know. That's the difference with summer fishing. In the winter, you lose one, he never comes back. <laughs> In the summer, he'll come, he'll come around. So if you guys are wondering what technique I'm using on the micro, this is a 20 gram. I let it drop all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. And then once it's at the bottom, I, I just jerk it, little jerks like this. Little jerks, tiny jerks. So that way it doesn't, and I'm like barely reeling in. If you look at my reel, I'm like barely, barely reeling it in. So I'm, I'm just trying to give it the most amount of jerks but not like crazy jerks and then like reel it in so that there's not too much slack like just barely reel it in and usually i get bit like that and i think what that does is with the 20 gram it keeps it in a certain level a steady level but it keeps the the micro moving around and but like me reeling it in slowly makes sure it doesn't get snagged on anything and yeah they just like these little jerks and I'm bound to get something. What color are you on? Now I'm on like some dark green true sand. But I, I still think the blue one is like my favorite. It's just I lost one of my blue ones. So I, I'm switch it, I switch it to another one just so that I, I don't lose my other blue one. And it's been catching on this. Any iron, I think. Probably the brighter, the better. I think if you go on 15, you'll get a Mac. 
Yeah, the reason why I got here early is、um, after dinner, I crashed so hard. I tried to just like lay down, and it was like nine something, and I ended up just knocking out. And then, but then I woke up at two. Yeah, and I could have kept sleeping, but I went on my phone for a little bit, and then I was just awake since then. So I was like, if I'm still awake by five, I'm just gonna go and fish before the sun comes up. And I did. I was like, I'm not gonna lay in my bed pretending I'm sleeping. I'm just gonna go out. <laughs> Phillips on. The rocks are slippery. Careful. Oh, you got a、uh, calico. Dang, Phillips micro fishing. <laughs> Going on the 15 micro. See if I could get a mackerel. That's a good time when Hallie's could bite too. Maybe 11. Oh, there you go. I'm on. Yeah, oh, I know what it is. A lizard fish. Look, it's so small. Oh, maybe he got off. Oh, yeah, it's a lizard fish. <laughs> It's a lizard. Here we go. Look, I'm like reeling it in like I'm holding a teacup. <laughs> This is how you reel in a, 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 a lizard fish, guys, with your pinky up because they're so light. Look, as light as a feather.、Oh. Number six. Phillips on? What do you got? What do you got? I did not think I was going to get bit. Ooh, Halley. Yeah.、Uh, on the white k i t e k Now he's stuck on k i t e k s Oh! All right, guys. It looks like I'm going to be bait and waiting with this lizard fish. Hopefully, I could catch something good. Cast it to the left. All right. Oh, you got him? All right. Hey, I would wash my hand in the water. Oh, sticky. You don't have a towel either? Bro. Amateur hour? Things you need towel, plier, and in my opinion, a fish grip. Is that your first fish, Jared? Today, yeah. Yeah, of course, today. What? <laughs> What am I asking me yesterday? What do you mean last week? Last week? Today? I mean, what? Currently, three months ago. It's a pretty good size, though. Alright, double. I'll put. I forgot I have a knot. And I think I lost Phillips. <laughs> no. Last shot. I lost both of them. We're trying to see the fish he caught. It's.、Uh... Is that PV? Crystal best smallest. <laughs> Look how big it is. <laughs> Look how way smaller. The designs look nice when they're babies. Oh, dude. Yeah. They look way better. Yeah. It's like more vibrant. All the, all the patterns stick out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ken slaying it. <laughs> That's so funny. You're like, I caught fish. And we're like, All we saw was your hands go up. <laughs> We believe you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, finally caught my seventh fish, Ali, on the pink Kitek. Haven't used Kiteks in a while, but it's been slow, so it worked. Small Ali. All right, I'm gonna throw him in so he can get big. Bigger, stronger, faster. Thanks. I'm on another one. Oh, I lost it. Yeah, but I, it came.、Uh, I think he got off.
We'll get him again. What is it, Jared? Oh, crap. A sea turtle? Ooh. We have sea turtles here? Him? No, not today. Jared, what did you catch today? A bass? What did you catch today? And I'm on. <laughs> oh, it's another, it's another Halley. Yeah, they've all been, I haven't seen a legal one in a while. Uh, you don't catch them too often yeah. still, even if they're small. Cool, man. You're on? Jared's on too. Fish on. One word, but six six ends. A bass? Oh, it's a good, it's a good size. What's your name? Griffin. Griffin? Nice to meet you, dude. Maybe you'll catch another one today then. Yeah. Good luck, thanks. Yeah, same to you. Make sure it lands in the water. There you go. What'd you catch that one on, Jared? Ray? Is uh, Kitex making a comeback? <laughs> oh yeah, it's, all, it's always good. Wow. Get a free jet ski show. All right, I'm going to try fishing it upside down because it keeps getting bent out of shape. Here we go. All right, yo. That's going to be it for us today at Sh Harbor Island. Caught eight fish today. What I caught was a croaker, spotted bay bass, barracuda, a couple lizard fish, and couple Halleys. Yeah, right? Yeah. Was that eight? Somewhere around there. I believe so. So it was pretty good for me. Like the morning was pretty good. And then towards around like 10, 11, it died down a lot. The late morning bites have changed up, I think. They're not really biting on the white Kalen as much. And I think they're biting more on some Kitex. The Kitex have been maybe more attractive to the fish but yeah we'll see how it goes um definitely didn't skunk today i'm glad i woke up early and fishing earlier than usual oh dude i remember the crazy thing was that my rod i casted my other rod and my bait casting rod and casting rod into the water it's all on footy oh I remember it was like so slow and it felt so dumb. Like I was casting, like I pulled it back and then as soon as I was gonna throw it out, like I felt it get hooked. And then I followed through with my cast and I, I just saw, I was like, what the heck is that? And I realized it was my rod. I didn't even realize it was my rod until I saw it get in the water. I was like, did that just happen? And I'm like, shoot. But luckily what caught it was the lucky craft and luckily the hook was still in the guide so i was able to fish it out no problem i didn't have to try to like it was always hooked on it the whole time i didn't have to try to hook the hook my bait caster but yeah hopefully it's good um i was using it after today and that's what i caught majority of the fish on the bait caster setup so it's still working and I'm trying to decide if i should water it down with water when i get home or just what I did was sprayed a lot of that salt water solution thing that, that draws out salt. I sprayed a lot of that and I wiped it down really hard. So hopefully that's enough, but maybe I might do a rinse at home with the water just in case since it, it did get drenched in the salt water ocean. It was all the way submerged and I was able to pull it out, but it's in the video, you saw it. Oh man, that was crazy. 
But luckily nothing too bad today and I got a lot of fish, a lot of good fish today. So I was pretty stoked with that. I thought the croakers were gone, but still maybe a few there. And I, I'm pretty sure I had a more bites from the croaker, but I lost some and you know the game. But all right, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time, you know? All right. Peace.